This is my Pelican speaker I just finished building. I'm using a uh, Pelican Storm Case IM2300-6 with a pair of Dayton Audio ND91s and ND20s. On the side here, I have a little control panel. Bought a little battery capacity voltage gauge from Amazon, a LCOM USB pass-through, and a single pull double throw battery switch that's configured to charge only in the off position, a uh, 2.1 millimeter jack for charging. In the back I have two Peerless Audio 3.5 inch passive radiators and on the top is the volume knob attached to a B100K potentiometer. Alright, on the inside On the inside, I'm using two capacitors to protect the tweeters from the lower frequencies, and they're made by Dayton Audio 3.3 microfarads. And you can see them on both sides. All the connections are soldered. I'm using a Kester uh, 6040 um, solder. And all the wiring is 18 gauge mil spec wire. All right, I'll start with the battery. Um, I'm using 16 18 650 batteries made by EBL, and they are set up in a 4S 4P um, config. That means I have four batteries in series to create 16.8 volts when fully charged, and each pack is in parallel and for protection underneath you can't it's kind of hard to see but I have a uh, each pack has a battery protection board basically I have that in place to provide protection for each individual battery it's not really required I can just get away with using one battery protection board or even none and everything would still work out fine, but just in case a battery goes bad, I want to be able to isolate it, take it out of the system, and I could even still play music if I have to, but I probably won't I'll end up fixing it, replacing it. And the reason I elevated it was just to make battery changes easy. If I had to replace a protection board or do something down there, I can or even upgrade the battery, I can easily take it out. just didn't want to deal with the hot glue. Another measure of protection was uh, two fuses. Really only needed one for the positive side. That's the side that's going to most likely blow. But you never know, so I put them on both sides, positive and negative, just in case. And I have that going to a power distribution board. And that power distribution, uh, the power distribution board is usually used for uh, quadcopters and stuff like that. I decided to use it because it's easy to solder to. I can add and take away things as needed. And um, it kind of saves a little bit of space too. Or... And there's the power switch. Um, there was two tabs on it for lighting inside the switch, but I didn't really care for that. I just wanted the function of the switch, the single pull, double throw. And I would set up the charge only in the off position. And that is, next to it, is a 2.1 millimeter jack. And then power is routed from the board to my amps. And I have some quick disconnect terminals on there. Uh, the bottom amp is a 50 watt per channel Wandom uh, TPA 3116 amp. And um, the one above it is a 25 watt per channel amp, also made by Wandom. It's a TPA 3123. And this is set up in the bi amped config. So the top amp is just for the tweeters, bottom amp is just for the mids. Have RCA cables going to the oh before that. So I have power 
a single source of power from the board going to the 50 watt per channel amp and then power is extended through these 18 gauge wires going to the 25 watt per channel amp so that kind of worked out good with the with the amp stacked like that I was able to save some wiring or declutter I guess and then some RCA cables going to my mini DSP that is the bread and butter of this build right here um, with this board I have capabilities of doing a 48 um, DB crossover which is kind of crazy and for to do that passively would take up all the space inside this case so being able to do um, that and this is uh, I think kind of incredible and then this wire right here this set of wires is running to my potentiometer up here the B100K uh, single source of power coming in I didn't feel like soldering to the board so I just uh, spliced it into the 2.1 millimeter plug And the uh, the USB connector here is not for charging; it's for the uh, the mini DSP. So that pass through is feeding the USB all the way down up to my mini DSP two by four. I think that's what it's called. And um, basically, I can set whatever crossover I want. Set the frequencies for the low pass, the high pass. I can set it from first order crossover all the way up to eighth order crossover so being able to do that um, still kind of blowing my mind and then um, I have this guy right here I think this is another uh, key item for this Bluetooth speaker it's the audio engine B1 it has a built-in DAC and it also uses Aptex which is a um, high quality codec but it's powered on 5 volts so I had to use a DC to DC uh, buck converter that's adjustable and you can see that little blue uh, potentiometer with a gold or a brass uh, screw on it you just use that with a meter, adjust your voltage and you're set um, I have it connected to uh, some more terminals that you can easily quick detach just in case I blow it up or have to change it out. I have power secured to these passive radiators just for routing. They have like a little tab that you can route these uh, these wires. So everything's kind of secured in either in that way or these little anchors for zip tie anchors. Just wanted it to be clean and reduce the vibration sounds inside. Um, also have like these uh, double sided sticky pads to reduce the sound. And that's how I mounted the uh, Audio Engine B1. These uh, double sided foams are really strong. I probably won't be able to get that off of there. I would have to cut it off if I had to replace it. But those are the major components. Um, So for charging, I'm using this charger from China. It's a uh, constant current, constant voltage, 16.8 charger, or 16.8 volt charger. And it charges at two and a half amps. Um, I decided to go that high because these four packs are in parallel. Two and a half amps spread out over that is just under an amp per pack. And that's kind of where you want to charge 18650 batteries, just below an amp. Uh, just to don't want to charge them too high. I'm I'm willing to to wait for the charge. You know, some people don't like to wait, so they bump up the current, but you're risking the life of your battery of your batteries. Not too big of a deal because they're pretty cheap. You can replace them fairly for a fairly cheap price. Um so that's the charger. Oh, I'm using a mini DSP 
uh, UMIK-1 mic. This mic's calibrated. And when I tune my speaker, this is what I use to get a nice flat response. Um, the software that's provided with the, uh, the Mini DSP, you can get specific frequencies dialed in, so this, this definitely helps you out. Um, also, it's just a simple block diagram of power distribution. And I have the 18650 4S4P pack coming in, two fuses. Negative is going to the board. Positive is going to the single pole double throw switch. In the normally closed or off position, it's going to the external power jack. When you turn it, the speaker on, the power is routed to the board. Then from the board, it goes to the Bluetooth, DSP, amp, and the battery gauge. So that's how I wanted it by design. Um, that's just my preference, not really uh, required or that's just how I wanted it. I'm also using, this is some of the stuff I use to make it. I'm using, a, let me see, what is this thing? A Unity DC, AC to DC uh, mini clamp meter. This thing is awesome. There's plenty of reviews online about that. I'm not even going to go into that, but I use that to just verify currents and loads, make sure she can handle it. And this little multimeter here, cheap $20 meter, but it works great. I'm using a Hakko starting machine. I have my flux, water, ISO. And then I'm using, a, I have two different solder reels here. One is 6040 10 lead, and the other one is 6337 10 lead, or lead 10. Um, I like the 6337. Um, I think I get better solder joints. Either or works great because this mil spec wire is already pre or it's already 10, so soldering is easy with mil spec wire. Mil spec 18 gauge. Oh, let's see if I can get a good number for you guys. Nope. I can't. I'll list it in the comments. But that's pretty much it. That is what I use to make this thing.